Hello, this is Johan Falk at Node1 Scandinavia. This is episode 14 of the Learn Organic Group screencast series. We find it over here at the Node1 Learning Library, packed full with Drupal site building uh, screencasts and other exercises and good stuff if you, if you want to learn Drupal. Uh, we also have a book you can find at Amazon. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, so in this episode, number 14, I'm going to talk about uh, fields in organic groups and how to use these uh, in particular, just doing display fields uh, in, in a uh, sensible way so that the right information is displayed to, to members and non-members. Uh, but I'm also going to show you the group field access, OG field access module uh, that allows you to control which fields will be viewable and editable by, by people on your site. Uh, so, um, I have here the, the sandbox site we're working with and as you can see if we go to say another group here we have uh, something uh, a group field now saying you are the group manager I have group visibility field, group roles and permission, group register field uh, quite a bit of information here that is not really relevant for anyone um, so if I go into structured content types, this group, this is a, an entity of the type group, uh, a node of the type group, and finally manage fields, manage display, sorry. I take this in a new tab so I can switch back and forth. I can change how this these fields are uh, displayed, just as any field on, uh, in a Drupal installation, of course. Uh, such as the uh, group visibility, groups, roles and permissions, and group register is not really relevant to display on the page. It's good when you're building the site, but uh, I mean, once it's built, uh, you probably don't want to display this to, to everyone. So I'm hiding these, and if I reload, they're hidden. This group field is pretty interesting. This is one uh, usually displaying a group subscription link. Let's actually show that. i switch in browser. Here I'm logged in as test user, and here's another group. It says subscribe to group on that link. You can see down here what the URL for this is, and that's something that you can uh, reuse later on if you want to, like in views or something, or you can, uh, easiest way is probably to, to get this field and select the right formatter in views. Uh, sometimes you want to um, have this link and uh, sometimes you don't want to have it let's keep it here but let's remove the uh, label actually like that so we have here subscribe to group that's that's pretty nice and this one says just you're the group manager um, nice okay so this is one one of the things you can do uh, by just uh, changing group, uh, field visibility and stuff uh, as you can see here too the group has a uh, while <laughs> oh I didn't know okay uh, the group here can be displayed in a number of different ways like the default here uh, I'm not actually sure what that displays it should display the field value whatever that is group okay very very informative group nice um, uh, the key is the, the, the stored value of this field, uh, this value that is stored in the database. We can have a look at that right now. Uh, this will probably show, I don't know, uh, manager or something, one even, okay. And this one will show zero or nothing at all. Oh, it's one. That's very strange. Okay, well. Uh, but the reasonable one here, here is a group subscription or just hide the field. Let's save that. Uh, we have some other formatters for the other fields. Let's actually go for this one. Huh. They have group subscriptions for this one as well. I didn't know that. That's pretty interesting. Um, hmm. Cool. Um, these are probably... Uh, uh, mostly used for with a default setting here uh, but apparently you can use them for for creating a link a registration links as well let's just have a look at what that looks like huh it doesn't display no it doesn't um, we just have this group subscription so I guess this formatter is kind of broken 
All right, yeah, that's life. Okay, um, and in the previous screencast, we also saw that the uh, uh, on, on user accounts, the fields here, the groups audience field, you can select to display that on uh, registration forms, which is kind of useful if you want to have people registering on, on site registration or joining groups on site registration. Uh, you can also, uh, of course, manage display of fields here. Um, not, ma not many formatters to, to choose from, but it's here. Okay, so, um, yeah. Uh, now I'm going to show you something else uh, concerning fields and, and groups here, and that is um, this test user is a member of the site. He is entitled to create posts, group posts. Uh, if he subscribe, well, let's do it like this. Uh, we have here oh group audience group one here because that's a public group anyone is allowed no i even think that test user is a, a member here let's let's actually check that out um group one group manage people yeah test user here is, is a member let's re let's remove him and i was wrong in the previous screencast when you deny memberships uh, you remove the membership application. Here's a role that was removed, so that's the error messages. Um, you see here that the membership uh, entity is removed completely here. All right, uh, and now this, this person here is no longer membering any group, so we don't have any groups we can add content to. If uh, this person uh, applies for membership in another group it still doesn't help because ah uh, huh because he's not a member I was going to say how come he's a member ah this is a mess sorry about that he's active that's strange okay that might be because the test user was a member before and this is not removed from the database I'm not sure or I might have changed some permission settings somewhere and allowing the test user to become full member immediately. Okay, but usually you can only add content to the groups where you are a member. That, that's the point of this. Uh, and you probably uh, find that a reasonable setting. You can, however, change this if you want to. If you go into structure, content types, group, manage, no, group, not group, but post, manage fields, here we have the group audience field uh, telling which groups this post belong to. If we add that, there is a pretty interesting session uh, setting here. Um, um, here it is, sorry. Uh, automatically decide the input according to user permissions. Uh, so if you're uh, allowed to to put well if you're uh, allowed access to I guess but but if you're a member of the groups uh, they they uh, are listed here uh, if you're an administrator then you have other groups as well uh, groups that you're not part of uh, that are listed uh, too so if I select this here and save I should get a list of other groups as well here. Yeah, the stuff that uh, the groups I'm a part of and uh, the groups I'm not a part of. Uh, since administrators can edit any groups and manage groups, they uh, by default get these other groups, but normal users don't. So you probably want to have this field setting here set to automatically decide input according to user permissions. But uh, as shown here, you can change it. Wow, that was kind of messy. Um, yeah, okay, I'm going, I'm going forward in full speed. Uh, there is something else I want to show you in this screencast concerning fields and membership, uh, group membership, and that is a module called Organic Groups Field Access. In Organic Groups here we have 
organic groups field access. That allows you to decide which fields should be able to, which should be possible to uh, change, view and edit uh, as group member. This is very similar to the CCK field access module in Drupal 6. And just as the CCK field access module, uh, you get a lot of, of permission settings. These are collected under organic groups, configuration organic groups, global permissions. Uh, we have now quite a few new field access fields here. So we have the body field. This is the, these are the fields of all the uh, fields in the organic group entities on the organic group entity. So we don't get all the fields on the site, which is kind of nice. We don't have the tag field here, for example, used on, on articles. Uh, but we have all the fields on uh, group posts and possibly on groups as well. So we have body field. Uh, we should probably be able to uh, edit the body field. Uh, view group field. Uh, Sure, edit it, sure, view group visibility, no, let's not. Uh, and we disallow editing group visibility as well for, for normal members. That means that uh, group visibility for, for posts here, we have it down here. If we don't want to have normal users, normal members change this, we uh, have this field uh, th this checkbox this selected unselected and so on uh, what else uh, oh the group field should probably not be editable by by members I confused it with the group uh, audience field <sighs> all right that that'll do for now if I reload here, this field should disappear. And it didn't. This means that I probably gave the, have, have given this test user some wrong permissions. But you get the idea. You can control the visibility of fields in, in organic group posts. Yada, yada. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, and obviously <laughs> I'm not allowed to edit this because that's an organic group setting as well. Edit own post content, yeah. So let's just see that this works, yeah. Huh. And now it's gone, this field here. That's probably because I loaded this page before and then reloaded the page with Control R instead of just um, uh, going to the page again. Then it kept all the field content. Let's try this again here. Ah, okay, so this is displayed on post creation but not on post editing. That's not very nice. That should be a bug report for organic groups. Anyways, um, this is it for this screencast. I'm sorry that it was kind of messy. Uh, summary is that you can uh, change the uh, the format is the field display of group fields, just as any fields. You can also, when it comes to the field called group audience uh, for posts, select what kind of uh, groups should be listed here. And usually you want to leave that at default, but you can also list groups you're not a member of here. Finally, we saw how to add, uh, enable the uh, organic groups field access module, so you can um, set field access for, for different fields used in the groups and the group content. We also saw that this works kind of well, but not really. Um, and that's it. Uh, I will see you in another screencast. The organic groups is not yet done. We have a lot of things to look at. We have not... We're going to look at some views integration and then we're going to look at some rules integration. And then I guess we're done. Uh, see you in another screencast. Goodbye.